My name is Andrew Sixsmith. I'm uh, director of the Gerontology Research Centre, Simon Fraser University, and I'm also deputy director of SFU's Ermax Centre. Um, I've been uh, researching and teaching in the field of gerontology for about uh, 25 years. Um, uh, my interest in this area is um, firstly because it's an important uh, issue in the area of policy nowadays. We all hear about aging populations and uh, clearly it's something that we uh, as a society and as economies we, uh, we, we have to deal with. Uh, also it's an area that I find incredibly interesting from an academic and an intellectual point of view. Um, uh, trying to understand the processes of aging are, are really uh, e extraordinarily uh, interesting topics to, to research. Uh, but also we need to think from a personal perspective as well. Uh, aging is something that we all experience either personally or amongst the, um, the, our, our loved ones, our families. Uh, and uh, we, we have to think of it in that dimension uh, as well. So I teach uh, various courses here at, uh, at, Geronto at the Gerontology uh, Centre. Um, the co one course that I'm particularly fond of is a course I teach on international perspectives on ageing. Uh, in this course we look at um, the general trends that uh, are happening worldwide in terms of population ageing. So we look at some of the statistics. I try to make those as interesting as possible. Uh, not always too easy, but uh, when you read about these things in, uh, in the uh, papers, we need to have a good understanding, a good grasp of some of the statistical concepts around that. Uh, we look at some of the reasons, uh, some of the changes within society that are leading to population aging. Uh, and we really, uh, we, we really try and understand these processes at a, at a global level. But we also try and look at the individual experiences of different countries and particularly of interest is that uh, population aging isn't something that is just happening in the developed world, but it's also happening in the poorer countries around the world, particularly uh, in, uh, say, sub-Saharan Africa, uh, countries which we don't associate with, uh, with old age, but all populations around the world are uh, experiencing um, rapid population aging. So we look at, uh, we look at case studies around the world, um, um, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, and North America, South America, uh, and really trying to understand it from, uh, from these various international perspectives. Not just in terms of the statistics of population aging, but also how as societies we need to respond to the, uh, the, the growing needs of, uh, of an older population. So we look at the, uh, the policies, the services that are provided, uh, and really try and look at these things critically and see whether uh, as societies were really responding to, um, to, to a, a, an aging population, but also populations that have got uh, different experiences uh, culturally and internationally, uh, and also changing um, changing perspectives and, and, uh, and ideas about uh, how they want to live their lives when they're, when they're older. So it's a very interesting field of study. Um, I like teaching it and hopefully my, uh, my students like, uh, like participating in it. Thank you.